Hey, it's Erin Cook, all-inclusive travel expert with Custom Memories Travel. Today, talking about the three things you need to double-check when you are booking your vacation online, doing it yourself. Now, whether or not you use us as Custom Memories Travel to help you plan your vacation, my duty is to help you make the most and get the most for your vacation budget without getting taken. So maybe uh, you want to listen up if you're starting to plan your own vacation. So basically, the very first one, when you're looking at your all-inclusive package, before you hit purchase or confirm or put your credit card information in there you want to make sure that you look at the class of service for your flight what does that mean it means are you getting economy coach you know Delta comfort there's a business class there's first class now we've added this new category maybe you've heard about it called basic economy basic economy means you're paying a super low rate but guess what you get super low benefits with it most likely you will never get a refund for that flight no matter what it's non-refundable you may never change that flight so even if you pay that four hundred dollar change fee you still can't pay to change this particular flight you either take it or you don't and you know they keep your money so that's another thing you have to look out for also you may not get to choose your seat most likely until you get to the airport or until you check in online and you're just gonna have to take whatever's there this is very hard for people traveling with somebody else if you want to sit together basically you can't do that with a basic economy fare and lastly you can't take a carry-on bag for most of the flights that have basic economy okay so check over the class of airfare before you're booking your vacation next you want to look at the resort inclusions every all-inclusive resort I'm gonna say it a million times but they're so different in what they include just because it says all-inclusive doesn't mean it includes it all okay if you're getting a very cheap package you're gonna probably end up spending a ton of money when you get there okay because certain things aren't included things like all of the restaurants if you see you know we have nine restaurants for you to enjoy Make sure you double check whether or not the room category you're booking allows you to go to that restaurant. And more importantly, some resorts, the really cheap ones say, oh, you can eat at our buffet every time you're here and maybe once or twice during your stay, we'll let you go to the fine dining area. But it depends on how many nights you've booked, okay? So you gotta make sure if you're thinking you're gonna sit down for at this nice restaurant every night, you might be missing out if you have booked one of the resorts that don't doesn't include that with your package. Some all-inclusive resorts say here your gratuities are included or your tips, but when you get there, people may be paying out of pocket again more tips on top of that. You want to make sure, you know, what to expect basically, and then other resorts don't allow tipping at all when you get there. So make sure you understand what it is you are buying when it says prepaid gratuities. Um, because sometimes you're expected to pay more when you get there. Now, if you're obviously using a travel expert, they're going to tell you all that um, and tell you what's included and what's not. And then lastly, people skim over this all the time. You need to look at the cancellation and the refund and the change fees, okay? They're all different. So if you cancel by XYZ date, maybe you'll get $200 back. If you cancel by XYZ date later on, maybe you will not get anything back. If you need to change, it might be $400 per air ticket or $200 per air ticket, just depending on what you're flying, okay? And then if you have used a consolidator or a supplier that packages your transfers, your resort, your airfare, all into one bundle, okay? Just because your hotel policy says, hey, you know, cancel up to three days prior to your vacation, for a full refund well but you have used something somebody else to book so like I, I dare say like Expedia or wherever um, but if they have put these things all together in a package for you you have to follow that suppliers rules so now none of the other rules matter really technically uh, when you cancel the actual package so you need to make sure you know exactly when you can cancel when you can change how much it will be how much you will get back um, and and those are things that people don't think about again this is all laid out for you if you work with custom memories travel or any reputable travel experts some don't do that but I have to on my part just because I can't lose sleep over stuff like this okay I need to know what's going on too for your benefit so I can give you the best service possible. So if you're ready to take a vacation and you don't wanna to have to worry about all these details, go ahead to custommemoriestravel.com, click on the get planning page. That's gonna tell you exactly how I plan custom vacations and why you don't see pricing on my website. 
because I custom tailor every single vacation package to my customers. That way you can get everything you want in your wish list, as much of it as possible, into your vacation budget. I don't pull packages off the shelves. Um, so if you're interested in doing that and you want to forget about all these details I've been talking about that will um, possibly screw up your vacation or cause you to lose money, uh, go ahead to custommemoriestravel.com and I would love to help. God bless.